What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be having some fun with it. We're using an off meta Zamazeta team that features Life Orb Metagross and Intimidate Salamence. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Seriously, it goes a long way. Over 60% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So if that's one of you, get on top of that. Scroll down a little bit. Click that big red subscribe button. It's totally free, and it only takes a second of your guys' time. But let's get started here. In that top left corner, we have the one and only Zamazetta. And Zamazetta is one of the probably worst restricted mods. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it here. Probably one of the worst uh, restricted mods, but I still like to use it, and I like to have a lot of fun with it, considering it's really off meta. It's got that Dauntless Shield, it's got the Rusted Shield as its item, it gives it a, a defense boost every time it hops into battle, and then it's, it's pretty good with its moveset. It's got a nice little close combat for stab, it's got Iron Head, then it has Howl, and I feel like Howl is really what makes it really, really fun to use. It gives an attack boost to himself, alongside with the ally Pokemon out on the field with it. So we're going to be using that with the Metagross, the Salamence, and any other physical attacker on our team to boost attack and do even more damage. Last move on this Pokemon is going to be Protect. Cannot go wrong with Protect. I feel like every Pokemon in double battles has to have Protect. Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be Rillaboom, and Rillaboom is one of those Pokemon you can bring on any single team, and it makes it a lot better. It's got the Grassy Surge, it's got that White Herb as its item, so you know when stats come in or stat drops come in, we're just going to take it right off with that White Herb. We have Protect, High Horsepower, Bake Out for Flinch, and Grassy Glide for that first turn priority in the Surge for this thing's lovely moveset. Middle left is going to be Metagross over here. Clear Body Metagross, I should say, or Clear Body Life Orb Metagross, however you guys want to say, is over here as our third Pokemon. And this Pokemon is phenomenal. Usually I like to rock it with a weakness policy, but I'm liking this uh, Life Orb over here, considering we have Zamazetta already to give it an attack boost with the Howl. So I feel like giving an attack boost with Howl and using the Life Orb could be pretty good. It could be pretty good. Hopefully we get to showcase that off and grab some wins with that. Iron Head, Stomp and Tantrum, Bull Punch for first turn priority, and Protect for this thing's moveset. Middle right is going to be Salamence over here, our fourth Pokemon for the team, with Intimidate. Intimidate is one of the best abilities in the game, so any Pokemon that has it, it just makes them ten times better. So Salamence has Intimidate, makes them really, really good. We gave him the Safety Goggles as his item, and then this thing has a wonderful moveset of Stone Edge for coverage, Dragon Call and Dual Wing Beat, both for stab, and last but not least, Dragon Dance is set up. If we can get a Dragon Dance set up, I would love to Dynamax this Pokemon and just dominate a battle with him. Bottom left hand corner, corner is going to be Urshifu over here. Urshifu is holding that Focus Sash with that unseen fist so it can hit through protection. I feel like the Focus Sash is definitely the best item for Urshifu. It just works so well with a Pokemon like him. He's kind of squishy, but he hits hard. So giving him that Focus Sash gives him extra chances in the battle to stay in there a little bit longer and do even more damage. We got Close Combat for a Stab Fighting move, Wicked Blow for a Stab Dark move, and then we got Sucker Punch for first turn priority alongside with Protect. Last Pokemon on team is going to be Defiant Thunderous over here. And Defiant is super, super good in this meta as of right now because you got Pokemon like Incineroar and Landers who are on a lot of teams. They're on a lot of teams. So using uh, Defiant Pokemon on the squad can really benefit you going up against those Intimidate Pokemon. He also has that Assault Vest for his item and Fly, Wild Charge, Foul Play, and Iron Tail for this lovely moveset. Guys, you want to try out the team for yourself? You guys already know the deal. Run the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with the Zamazetta, Life Orb Metagross, and Intimidate Salamence team. Round of applause for our opponent. Gotta give it to him right here. Rocking out with an amazing off-meta Lugia team right here. I'm guessing Lugia has weakness policy because that's like the only item that makes this Pokemon viable. But then he also has Zoroark, which we gotta watch out for. It's a uh, Illusion or whatever its ability is. Makes him look like other Pokemon, so we gotta watch out for that. He has Alolan Ninetales alongside with Slush Rush Arctozole. And that's kind of scaring me, that combo right there. I don't know what I would do. I might have to Dynamax to change up weather, but I don't have anybody to really change up weather. Besides Salamence with Stone Edge. But, uh... Maybe we'll have to do that. And then he has a double who's a cool Pokemon and Belly Drum Azumarill. So I'm definitely scared of this guy's off meta team. But who should we go into? How should we play this one? I feel like Rillaboom could be really, really good to lead. Just simply for fake out. Or we could just go into straight into Zamazetta. Zamazetta and Metagross could be really, really good here. I'm kind of digging it. I am kind of digging these two Pokemon. Maybe Dynamax get a Howl off. Let me see the speed real quick. I know I have 30 seconds left to pick, but I just want to see if speed is 90. And this thing's 179. So this thing is way quicker than it. We can easily get off a of Howl and kind of rock out from there. So we're going to go there. We're going to go there. And I think Salamence with Intimidate could be good. I could just go into Urshfu. Hmm. I definitely want Urshfu, so I'm going to bring Urshfu. And that's either Salamence or Rillaboom here. Who do I want? I feel like he has a lot of Pokemon to kind of just do work on me. So I'm going to go Salamence here. There's a few physical attackers. So let's go Salamence here. Let's lock it in here and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But guys. 
you've been keeping up with Legends Arcus, you guys know a lot of things have been leaked. A lot of things have been leaked, especially all the new Hisuian forms in the game. So that leads me to question of the day. What Hisuian form are you most excited for in Legends Arcus? I'm not going to say mine because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. But if you did check out the leaks, let me know in the comment section down below because there are a lot of cool ones. There are a lot of cool ones. This guy goes into double alongside with Lugia. So we know Lugia has that weakness policy. I might just howl and get after these guys. Maybe get a defense boost. We do have a defense boost already with our Zombies at it, but I can go into a max steel spike and get another defense boost, which is really, really good. It's going to be really, really good for us. But, hmm, could go into close combat. Close combat works pretty good, but I just think Hal is going to be the play here, get that attack boost. And then I think I'm just going to get the special defense boost. Because we know Lugia is uh, special attacking. So I think going into a move like this could be really beneficial for our team. So I'm just going to look to boost our defensive stats and just roll out from there. I think that's our play. I think that's our play. So he's going to Dynamax the Lugia. If I had to guess, it's the Lugia. No way he's Dynamax and the Sheep, right? Yeah, Lugia gets the Dynamax. Could you imagine he Dynamax the Sheep? I would lose it. I would lose it. But I'm guessing this thing is weakness policy, right? It's got to be weakness policy. Like I said in the beginning, really, Lugia is only viable once his weakness policy is really proc. So we're Dynamaxing here as well. Let's get amped. Let's get after this. We still have Salamence in the back with Intimidate. And then we have Urshfu. Urshfu is just one of the best back-end Pokemon in the game. Hands down. Hands down. It's phenomenal. It just does work all around. It has first turn priority. It hits like a truck. It can hit through protects. I just love it so much. I love it so much. But we're going to rock out with Metagross Dynamax here. We're going to be able to Howl before so we get an attack boost. And we'll see what's going on here. We shall see what's going on here. Howl coming in here. Bang, yo. We plus one. We plus one all day. Double, or he's going to go first with the max airstream. And I'm cool with the max airstream. We soaked that up all day. That's easy eats. That is easy eats. So he takes speed control. He kind of already had it. So it's really not that big of a deal for us. And we're just going to max quake and get a nice, uh, some nice damage off over here. He's going to cotton go. Oh, jeez. Oh, my lord. Okay, so what we got to do up against that thing. What we got to do up against that thing is going to be uh, get our Urshfu out there and hit it with our critical hit move. Because Cotton Guard makes his defense through the roof, and you know crits can ignore everything. So, that thing's going to be a pain. That thing is going to be an absolute pain in the neck. I'm not even kidding with you. I'm not even kidding with you. Uh, in this case, you know... Do I just see how much damage this could do? Do I see how much damage this could do? This seems like it could do a lot. Then we'll get a defense boost here. Let's go into this. I want to see how much this close combat can do. It is stab. It's super effective. I don't think it's going to kill it, but I think it can do a great enough damage to actually bring this thing down to a decent amount of health here. And with that minus one special defense, we're already plus one on it, so it's just going to even us out. So let's see how this one plays out. Airstream's going to come through, through here, and I think he's going to Cotton Guard again, man. Cotton Guard's so powerful. Usually that's what happens with doubles. I kind of should have saw that coming and brought in my... Uh, actually, I have all physical attackers, don't I? I think I do. I think I have all physical attackers, right? Rillaboom, Zamazetta, Metagross, Thunderous. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have all physical attackers. That's nutty, but oh my. Oh, that's so ugly. That is so ugly. That is so ugly. Look, that was, that was, ew. How much damage was that? Like five? That was like five damage with a, what's it called? With a close combat. Oh my lord, this is, this is going to get bad. This is going to get bad real quick. It's going to get bad. Uh, do we swap our Zamazetta here? I feel like we don't. I feel like we let Zamazetta go down here. So, in this case, I'm just going to Howl. And I'm just going to go for... Do I go for Quake here? I think Steel Spike might be our best bet. Get some stab damage off. But, yo, Dynamax... Nothing. We're doing nothing with Dynamax. Dynamax is going to end this turn. And I really just want Zamazetta to go down. Just so I can roll out with my Urshifu. And I can hit that thing with a... With a Wicked Blow. Because that's our only chance we're going to be able to KO that thing and get rolling out. Good thing I did bring that thing. Good thing I did bring that thing. But yeah, it's kind of tough with all these physical attackers. I kind of, I'm just realizing this now. Actually, what's called special attacking? Salamence, right? Stone Edge. Dual Wing Beat. Actually, that's physical, right? Dual Wing Beat and what do we say? Dragon Call? No, he might be physical. He might be on the physical board today. Airstream's going to come through here. My boy soaks it up all day. He can have speed advantage. He's rocking speed. He's rocking defense boost. And I wonder what WW Love Wolves going for here. Don't like you one bit, buddy. Body press, yeah. That's what I. That's why I figured. I figured double could just get cooking here. Okay. Okay, I see you. Dude. So he has speed like crazy right now. So he definitely outspeeds. We just gotta hope he doesn't double down in my Urshfu. 
Well, that's some big damage. Was that a crit? That's some big damage there. That's some big damage. That wasn't a crit. Well, we just howled again, so. Actually, I don't even think we got off for howl. Did we? Maybe not. But I gotta bring out Urshfu here. Yeah, I gotta bring out Urshfu here. And I feel like maybe if I just bullet punch into that, uh... Is that Lukia? That should be able to kill it, right? Right? Because if we can do that, and then I can just get off my, uh, my wicked blow. Should, should be sitting pretty good here. We could be sitting really, really nice here. We could blow super effective over here, but I'd rather use it on here. And I do think that that could work out perfectly. So, you know, let's go for this bull punch. Let's try to take out this Lugia. And if this can work, we can really be sitting in a good position here. Bull punch comes through. KO, please. KO this thing. Knock it out. Tell it to go home. Let's go. Let's go. That's a big time KO. Now Urshfu cannot go down because he has that focus ash. And what is Wubby Wubby double? Another body press into Urshfu. That's totally fine, yo. That's totally fine. We have that focus ash. Give me this wicked blow out here. This should be able to KO it. It's gonna. It's guaranteed crit, so it will ignore all those defenses. Give me the KO. Give me the KO. We need it here. We do not get it. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Oh my lord. I hate this game so much. Do we think a bull punch and a sucker punch could KO? Oh my lord. I don't like this game one bit. Who's he bringing out here? Who's he bringing out on the field? This little booger. This little booger's coming out here. What do I do? do I, do, I don't think that if by doubling down into that, we can KO it. We might as well try because if, if, if that's the case, yo, we definitely lose. That, oh my god. I hate this game. Um... Give me my play. I don't know. I, mean, I might as well go for the sucker punch. Might as well try to get off as much damage as I possibly can here. Do I, do do I double down here or do I just go try to get off the stopping tantrum? I'm gonna try to get off the stopping tantrum. That dang double. Sucker punch comes through. Oh, you have sucker punch. What? You have sucker punch? That's nutty. That is nutty. And he's just gonna body press me. Oh, he's gonna rest. What do we do here? I think we lost, right? How could we win this? Maybe dragon dancing? Kind of just going for there. And this thing's resting up, and then it has a lumberry. Ah, oh, dang, dude. Snappy Tantrum should be able to pick up a KO here. But are we going to lose to a dubby lubby wubble? Of course, this thing's focus ash. Bruh! Oh my god, it's Zoroak. You son of a bitch, dude. This guy is playing some crazy off meta Pokemon. I'm loving it, though. I'm loving it. We have Bull Punch. We can roll out with that. And what do we do here? I think we have to set up a dragon dance, right? <laughs> Come on, yo. We have no special attackers, and this guy is just caught and guarding up. Tim Nace can come out here. Dude, Zorok doing us dirty for sure. Oh, show. Oh, dude, this is rough news for us. Real rough news for us. Uh, I'm going to have to Dragon Dance here. And I'm just going to have to Bull Punch across onto this thing. He might protect it, but I do think it's going to come in here. Maybe I should just protect it my Metagross, but we'll see how this one plays out here. Bull Punch 5 0. Okay, cool. He doesn't protect. Get on out my face. That's why I had Sucker Punch. I was so confused. I was like, wait, you have Sucker Punch? But I'm actually really upset that that thing didn't KO. That Wicked Blow did not KO. He goes for the body press. Bye-bye, Metagross. Actually, Metagross able to eat. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. D-Dance coming out here. D-Dance coming out here. So I have to bank on my Salamence just boosting speed, boosting attack to KO this thing. This is real tough. This is real tough for us. I don't like this game one bit. <laughs> He brings out the Arctozolt now. And now we have to get after these guys. Uh, I cut Stone Edge. So I think it's going to be my play. Stone Edge into that. And maybe just go into a Protect. I'm going to Protect my boy here. So that's one plays out. He Protects. I Protect. Please double. Go into my Metagross. I need this double to go into my Metagross right now. We want a chance here. Stone Edge comes through. Block. Double, please. Body press, thank you. Goes into my Metagross. We cancel that turn. Okay, so we got to go for another Stone Edge there. We're going to hope it connects. And what do I do from here? Hmm. Hmm. Might as well go into a Bull Punch. Because doesn't he KO me here? He's going to KO me, so. Let's see how this one plays out. He's going to KO my Metagross with a Body Press. So we might as well get like two damage off, right? So, that's so ugly. That is so ugly. Stone Edge coming through here. It connects. This should KO, right? We're plus one. Yes, sir. Get out of my face. Dude, we're going to lose to a double. Oh, we might be able to get a crit. We might be able to get a crit. We are faster than double right now. Can this thing miss? I don't think Body Press can miss at all. Now comes the Body Press. 
his tisk, man. All right, jeans. What's the play here, big dog? What is the play? Guys, I don't like this. God dang, sheep doing me dirty. I was banking on my Urshfu coming in here and winning us the battle, but Stone Edge has a higher chance of crit. I think that's our best bet, right? That's definitely our best bet. We outspeed. I feel like we're going to miss this, right? We cannot. Give me crit. Give me crit. Bring Charles. No crit at all. No crit at all. He goes for the body press. Are we dead? Are we dead? Eat this up. We eat. Okay, we can eat up one more. We need like two crits. We need like back to back crits. I feel like that's the only way of winning. Come on, Sally. Come on, Sally. Stone Edge connects. Give me a crit. Fingers crossed. God dang it, man. No crits out. No. Body press Poku. We should be able to eat. And he gets a high roll. He gets a high roll. God dang it. We end up losing. Double doing us dirty. Let's hop to our second. Let's look to grab ourselves first win for today's video. The route one sheep does us dirty in battle number one. We didn't play bad. We just had nothing to counteract that cotton guard. Like that thing was so defensively bulked, it just ran through my team after that. Our only hope was that Urshfu, and we came this close. We brought him down the red, but it just wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough. But we're hopping into our second battle here, going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team that features Kingler, Cinderace, Landris, Whimsicott, and Hydreigon. So pretty strong team here. Pretty strong team here. Hopefully we can grab ourselves our first one for today's video, but who should I play? How should I go into this one? I could see him leading maybe that Whimsicott. Well, probably the Whimsicott, right? If I had to guess, Whimsicott might come through here, so I might just want to lead you. Get it for you, or I could, you know, just not lead you. Get that defense boost and kind of go from there. I do dig that. So we're going to bring in you. I might lead Urshfu as well. Urshfu could be great. It really could be great. Or if he goes into Landers, we could bring you. You know, I am just going to bring you just in case you want to bring that Landers. Urshfu's going to come in the back end. And then last but not least, Salamence. Oh, dude, all these choices are good. Salamence, Metagross, or Rillaboom. They're all really good choices, but I'm really leaning towards that Salamence. I don't know why, but I am. Just do for that Intimidate, right? Intimidate could be great. But Rillaboom's so good with that first and priority with the Grassy Surge. Grassy Glide. Uh, but I think I'm going to lock in you. We got Bullet Punch. It's going to be super effective up against a few of these guys. And we got the Life Orb on him. I'm digging it, yo. Let's lock it down, yo. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. I'm still upset at that last one. We're going to make up for it. We're going to make up for it by grabbing ourselves a win here in battle number two. I'm feeling good, though. I'm feeling good. I feel like I played good in that first battle. I was just like, dude, Cotton Guard, I was just like, dang, dude, we have no special attackers on this team. It's going to do us dirty. It is definitely going to do us dirty. But let's see who he goes into for his lead. And it is going to be Landers and Cinderace. So, hey, Defiant popping early on here. God, I love it. So, we got Defiant out here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And I wasn't going to go into him, but we did. But we did. Dauntless Shield Defense Boost is going to come out here. He's going to get off a nice little Intimidate here. And I think we just Dynamax uh, Thunders, right? I could Howl up as well. Am I playing? He could go into Power Ball, so I might just want to protect my Zombies at a turn one. Let's see. I could how, but I, I just think Protect's going to be a play, because I do not want a Power Ball coming across the middle and smoking us, right? And then we can just get off an Airstream and kind of go from there. Right? Yeah, take speed. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And then I can how and give him a, even uh, another attack boost. It's a great turn for us right off the rip. Right off the rip, we take a great turn, and he's going to go Dynamax and Landers, I think. Could really do a sturdy because if he drops a rock on us, let's see what he does. It's gonna be okay, it's gonna be Cinderace here. I thought he was just gonna drop a rock. It's like, bro, I'm stressing now, dude. That thing's gonna rip up on me. But now we're good. Cinderace is gonna get the Dynamax. I wonder what he's going for here. I wonder what he's going for here. Maybe I think he's going for the G Max Fireball, right? Into Zamazetta, which could be totally fine. Because in that case, I might just swap. I might just swap the next turn. We'll see. Or maybe we'll just let Zamazetta go down here. I'm not gonna lie. After this, uh, after we get the speed boost, Zamazetta can get off a shot, or maybe just boost my attack yet again, and then just dip. Let's see how he plays this one. He's gonna end up. Oh no, that's us protecting. I was gonna say he's gonna end up protecting, but no, we end up protecting, and he's gonna end up going for an airstream. The airstream's gonna poke out here. We're gonna airstream as well. Is he going into Zamazetta, please. Go into Zamazetta, please. Please. Okay, cool. So he goes into Zamazetta. Easy soaks. Easy soaks all day. He gets that speed boost. We're going for the speed boost as well. We doing it. We are doing it. And I wonder what you're going for. He changed the flying type, so we could go for free EQs. Go straight for Swords Dance. Hey, 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 hey! Tell this thing to knock it off. Tell this thing to knock it off. But I'm kind of upset that that thing went for the speed boost. Kind of tough for us. But how much damage can we do here? Some good damage. That's some lovely damage there. We could read a max guard. We could definitely read a max guard here. Which I might do. I might do. 
No, we're gonna go for Behemoth Bash. That's double damage there. And you know what? No, I'm just gonna go after Landers with this one. I'm gonna go for straight for just Behemoth Bash here. G-Max Fireball coming out here. That's definitely taking us out. That's definitely taking us out. And I wonder what... Is he going for a Rock Slide? Hopefully uh, that Rock Slide won't be able to kill us. But that... Oh, no. You went after you. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm really cool with that. I'm really cool with that. Behemoth Bash comes through here. And now he might be able to soak this up. Do you change the fire type? That's so rough. That is so rough. Oh, Behemoth Bash flies through. How much damage? Can we KO? Mm. Tough news there. Tough news. No KO due to the uh, switch, the typing. And we're going to outspeed, which is lovely. So, can we take out you? We do indeed. Get out of my face. And now we outspeed the Cinderace. This is lovely. Okay, we're sitting in such a good spot. We're sitting in such a good spot. So, we're plus one on the, or plus two on the speed board. His Cinderace is only plus one. Both my Pokemon can outspeed him. I can take him out whenever I want and get off another Dynamax turn here. So, really, really great plays by us. Really, really great plays. And I just feel like leading the uh, Thunderous up against that Intimidate Pokemon really, really did us good. Oh, we could Tailwind now. He could indeed Tailwind. And in this case, I'm just going to go into you. And what do I do? I can't guard, so you know what? We might as well do this. Might as well do this. I'm cool with this. I'm really cool with this. I'm really cool with this because we didn't we bring Metagross as our final Pokemon? I think we did. We have Bull Punch for that. We have all of our Steel moves ready to rip up onto that one Scott. And he's going to Tailwind here, right? Scott just protects. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. It's actually, that's, that's, that's totally fine because Behemoth Bash takes him out here. And our airstream is going to be able to hit through onto the Whimsicott. Take off the Sash if it hasn't. So, lovely second battle so far. We're looking really good. We're looking like we're going to win this one. Cinderace, get on out of here, dude. Get on out of here. But if I was him, his play probably should have been, like, you know, Tailwind and make a move. Like, at least get off your last G-Max move, you know? Because you know you're going to die anyway. So, it's just like, come on. Airstream's going to fly through here. How much damage are we going to do? Who to protect yo half? Love it. A bull punch can definitely easily KO that. No problem whatsoever. So I think we're sitting in a perfect spot for this final battle. Or for this final Pokemon. He has no Dynamax. We have speed. I'm just probably gonna double down onto it. Might as well, right? Send a nice big old wild charge. You know, Thunder is definitely clutching up in battle number two. Calyrex can come out here. Oh yes, sir. We'll run these steel moves all day. He could pop a trick room. He could definitely protect the pop a trick room. So you know what? What am I gonna do here? What is my play here? I just think maybe just like close combat. Or no, Behemoth Bash, yeah. Behemoth Bash going into you. And then just, just a wild charge. Or now, we'll just go for maybe for a foul play. What do we want to do? Let's just Iron Tail. Hope this Iron Tail connects and take out the Whimscott. Even though I think maybe just like a wild charge would have been able to KO it. But he goes for a Tailwind, and we're faster than that. That's GG's, right? We're still faster than you guys. Yes, sir. Yo, Behemoth Bash coming through here. This might not be able to pick up the KO because, you know, Calyrex is bulky and like... Zamazetta doesn't hit too hard, but we're hoping. We're hoping, man. Big damage. Yeah, see, dude, come on, Zamazetta. You're better than that. This is why no one uses you. This is why nobody uses you. Iron Tail comes out. It connects. I'm going to say later. Later to you. And I think he's just going to drop a Glacial Lance, but dude, we're thriving. This battle's over with. Gene's going to go one and one. I told you guys. We were making up for that last battle on this one. He goes for the Glacial Lance. Zamazetta should be able to eat that up. I think my Thunders goes down pretty easily in this, right? Yeah. Zamazetta soaks up. Like I said, Thunderous, drop it down. Right in the dumps. Right in the dumpster. And now we can just bring out Metagross. Now we can just bring out Metagross. And we just straight up go for our uh, Bull Punch. Or I can bring out Urshfu. I do like me some Urshfu, but actually, yeah, Urshfu can hit a lot harder. Urshfu can hit 10 times harder. And he hits through Protects. And he hits through Protects. So we're just going to Sucker Punch and Behemoth Wave. That's GG's, right? Should be GG's. Please don't protect. Do not waste my time. Just cancel the battle. Just cancel the battle or make a move. If you protect, like, there's no point of protecting here. There's no tailwind for us. There's nothing that's going to change after this turn, you know? So if he protects, it's just like, he's just trying to... Yeah, okay, never mind. He cancels battle one and one, guys. We are just going up against awesome opponents today. We're going up against a mono steel team here. For our third and final battle. He has some really cool Pokemon. He's got Zacian, the best steel type in the game. He's got Celesteel, who is another great steel type. He's got Berserker, very, very off meta. He's got my favorite Pokemon, Excadrill. And then he got Steelix and another one of my favorites. He's got Klefkyo. Jingly Keys as his last Pokemon. Who should we play? How should we go into this one? Excadrill's kind of scaring me. Yo, Excadrill's definitely scary. He's definitely scary. I kind of just want to go into Metagross. We have that uh, Max Quake, and we can soak up a lot of their shots. Hmm. 
Hmm, how should jeans play this one? How should I play this one? Kind of like a Robo maybe for a lead. Salmons could be pretty solid here. Maybe Dragon Dance? Let's try to get that going. Let's try to get that going. We'll go here, here, and we'll roll out with Salmoseta. Could be good. And I think Urshfu in the back end. All right? Yeah, let's go for a win here. Let's go for this win, yo. Mono Steel. I kind of want to lose this team. I kind of want to give this guy a win. I kind of want to see, because I, I like when people use off meta teams to beat me. I think it's a lot of fun. I, th I give them, I give them a lot of props. Yo, Mono Steel. Mono Steel, yo. I saw the extra. I was like, oh, cool team. And then I looked around. I was like, oh, what a squad. What a squad. But not bad battle so far for today's video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. You guys do enjoy? Like buttons down there. Like buttons down there. He goes into these two. Berserker. I think Berserker learns fake out, right? I do believe Berserker might learn fake out. So I might just fake out the Berserker and drop a D-Dang too, right? Probably our play. Probably our play. D dance and then maybe go into the Dynamax. Because if I can set up a D dance without taking off damage, I would love it. I would love it. And I got to watch out for setting the Sandstorm in case he has that extra in the back. But yo, it's just tough, yo. <laughs> this is tough. Might as well set up the D dance. Uh, let's just fake out Berserker. Let's steal a Might Dynamax. Not going to lie, yo. Steel kind of counters a lot of our Pokemon here. How did does this dirty? Let's just see how he plays this one. I think he's gonna Dynamax less steel, right? Here's Dynamax. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Actually, I hope that's Berserker. This guy's using an off meta Berserker. That he's Daddy Dynamaxes. That'll be awesome. Nope. It's the Ultra Beast. It's the Ultra Beast. I don't mind losing up against a cool team like this. Kinda hoping he beats me. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. Really, really cool, but it's actually looking like we're gonna have a tough time here. He counters a lot of us. Berserker fakes out. He outspeeds us so far. Punches. And I think he's just gonna go into an airstream. So his Dragon Dance could be pretty good for us. His Dragon Dance could be lovely. Could be lovely. Nice little speed boost. I think he goes into an airstream. Yep, into Real Boom, right? I'm correct. And Real Boom gone. Real Boom is gone here. Okay. Dang, dude, I really want to get off some high horsepowers with him. He's going to get that speed boost, and he's going to get that... Oh, my God. He's going to also get the beast boost, which I think is going to be defense. Actually, it might be speed now. Let's see. Make it deep. A uh, speed. Okay, special attack. That's a little worse for us. Urshfu can come out here. Uh, we could bring out you. Who do I want to bring out here? Let's bring out Urshfu. We do have Focus Ash. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it, baby. Come here, uh, Stone is probably our best bet. Do I, do I Dynamax? We just start dropping Rock Balls. Good D-Dance again. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to drop this Berserker. I'm going to dump on this Berserker. We got to get rid of it. We have to Dynamax our uh, our Salamence here. Because we can't Dynamax uh, Zamazetta. We could Dynamax Urshfu, but I feel like another Airstream is going to come in here. So it's just going to be a waste of Dynamax. So we have to Dynamax Salamence, even though... His stab moves do absolutely nothing. So we gotta drop a rock. Hopefully, we're gonna have fingers crossed that he doesn't have extra on the back. Let's see how this one plays. Rockfall comes out here. Give me that weather. Weather kind of helps him too. They're all steel, so they take no buffets, man. That, that was actually a rough call for us because my, my Earth is probably gonna go down here. He does outspeed me. Wow. He outspeeds my Earth food. And Urshfu outspeed this Berserker because we're going to go down to Buffets here. Tough, tough battles here. Actually, I mean, I, I think we could be sitting good here. And I feel like I feel like we're not sitting like too, too shabby. This, this one's going to be tough. Ironhead pokes to rear. We soak that up all day. So easy soaks. We're going to be able to go for a close combat here. And we're going to take out Berserker unless it's Sash, right? And of course it's Sash. Of course it's Sash. Of course this thing is Sash. That thing's Sash. And... My Urshfu is going to die to Buffets. We brought that one to ourselves here. We definitely brought that one to ourselves. Urshfu drops down. Yo, we have to get a kill. We have to get a kill because you guys know the deal. We don't get swept. If I, then My two rules on my channel is we don't go 0-3 for a video and we do not get swept. So we have to at least KO one Pokemon if we're going to lose this battle. And I'm not going to lie, dude. This guy kind of just counters us all day. We really had nothing to kind of counter steal. Like, if you look at my team, like, Metagross might have been our best bet. We probably should have brought him to use Dynamax. But, like, he, his stab moves won't do anything. Real Boom gets countered up. It's like, come on, man. 
a lot of our Pokemon just don't really counter up on steel. We're going up against like some Pokemon to just counter up on this hard. But we're gonna go here. And I'm just gonna go for I think a Behemoth Bash should be able to take out Berserker, so. I mean I could have howled. I could have howled, but this gotta be your player, right? Rockfall flying through here. Run it up, baby. Run it up. Get some damage. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. Help me out here. Rockfall does some damage and he's gonna go for Ooh, Rockfall of his own. We should be able to soak that. Should be easy, yo. Salamence all day. Soak it. Ouch, dude. Ouch. We're getting steamrolled in this final battle. Steamrolled ain't even the word for it. But, but, my Zamazetta should keep us from not getting swept. I sure hope so. But we did, we played pretty good today besides this last battle. Besides this last battle. Ooh, close combat comes through. We should be able to soak. Yeah, all day. Bulked. We're bulked, guy. We're bulked, guy. Behemoth Bash should be able to roll through here. Keep us from getting swept. That's all I need. That's all I need. Right? That's all I need. His defense dropped. Should be able to do this much damage, right? But yeah, I kind of saw this battle not going too well. Once I saw the all steel team, I was like, ooh. Like in my head, I was sitting there, I was just like, oh, this one's going to be tough. This one was really going to be tough for us. I mean, Urshfu was probably like our best bet. But he had Celeste Steel and he Dynamaxed it early. And we let her Urshfu, so it was like, dude, we either swap it or we just take the damage. Kind of kind of see what we can get going from there, but... Ended up not working for us. He's gonna bring out Steelix here. Uh, we might still do we? No, we do, we we really don't have a chance here. This last Steel outspeeds. It's plus one on special attack. What could we do here? We could go for close combat and just try to take out Celestial Steel here, which I'm gonna try. I am gonna try. I was just gonna run the battle, but you know what? It doesn't hurt to try. He probably has Zassy in the back of Atticus, and of course this thing's Rocket Flamethrower. Of course this thing's Rocket Flamethrower. That's probably nope. It doesn't take us out. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Close combat, five to rear. How much damage are we doing? We KOing? We are indeed. Celestial, get out my face, yo. So hold up. Wait a minute. There's a chance. We have a chance. We have a lovely little chance here. Let's make something happen. Iron defense. Okay, never mind. We, our chance is gone. Our chance is gone. He has a Steelix who sets up an iron defense. His defense is already through the roof. Now it just sets up an iron defense up against my physical attack. Unless we get a crit, which uh, odds are we're not. And if I had to guess, Zassian's going to be his last pick. You don't, you don't use Zassian on the team and not bring him. Like he's brought in every single time. I'd be surprised if it's not. Last Pokemon coming out here. Come on, show it to me. I'm running this battle, though. But hey, yo, one or two for today's video. I don't think it was bad. We played great with some off-meta Pokemon. That double did us dirty. And last battle, this one was... It wasn't a bad battle, I don't think. I just think he had a lot of Pokemon just counter up on me. Yo, can he throw, can he throw his Pokemon? Or are we lagging out? One of us lagging out? Like, what's this guy doing? Deciding who he's picking, like he has one more. Yep, and it is his Zassian. Like I said, it's gotta be Zassian. Shiny Zassian. So. It's looking sparkly. It's looking lovely. But like I said, I'm just gonna run this battle. We're going one and two for today's video. Not too shabby with this off meta team. Like I said, one and two, we ended up grabbing ourselves a losing record. So maybe in the next video, we'll use a stronger team with more meta Pokemon and try to get you guys some wins or a perfect record in that video. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.